Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss how can you start um, drawing the rooms inside Dialex Evo. So in the previous class we uh, draw inside the site tab in construction we have drawing our uh, building okay as you can see you can see the outline or the contour of the building itself okay now you can see this is called the floor plan or the 2d view if you would like to see this building in a 3d view like this click here and as you can see click and drag you can see this is our building in 3d okay you can see it as one block one complete block and as you can see we did not uh, define our rooms yet okay so with the next step we get to the floor plan view then go to the story and the building construction like this okay now what is what are we going to do now in this lesson we were going to uh, design our rooms or um, identify the outline of our our rooms for the AutoCAD or the Dialex program okay not AutoCAD but Dialex program so first as you can see here is the story height this is the height of the rooms so as you can see it is 2.8 by default and the thickness of the floor itself is 0.2 now I'm going to make this for example 3 meters okay is the height of the rooms and as you can see this is the height three meters and thickness of the floor as you can see thickness of the floor is 0.2 okay now let's draw the rooms how can we start drawing our rooms simply by clicking on draw new room so let's uh, zoom in like this and start identifying our rooms draw new room then we are going to do same as the building identify the dimensions of the room or the outlines of our room so we will go like this select this point come close here like this and move here like this and here okay uh, then right click and close polygon so as you can see this is a room which we have designed now as you can see there is a small uh, problem here this should be go to the left right so we can select it click on it then drag like this okay okay so as you can see this is our room number one okay defined inside the uh, dialex program now let's see this in the 3d view so as you can see room number one like this okay you can see empty space inside the building which representing the room get back to the floor plan view now we have the kitchen so let's draw a new room like this select this point go here like this okay like this and this right click and close polygon so let's see uh -huh. like this so as you can see this is the room of the kitchen okay now you can see we have a, a wc here draw new room select like this close polygon you can see it is a little bit to the left so we are going to click on it drag it like this like this so as you can see room one two three which is the office kitchen uh, wc and so on here we have the store so draw new room click on the corner here then here then here and here right click close polygon defined another room and so on so start doing all of this to all of the rooms okay why because we would like to define the rooms for the dialects evo same as what we did in the course of electrical design 
in the uh, red dialects or the dialects red, okay? Um, let's uh, take this one here. Okay, so we can take this one, delete, uh, draw. As you can see, we have a column here. So we are going to do like this, go down here. Like this. Right click, close polygon. So as you can see the room and we here uh, identified the column here. Uh, auxiliary room transformer. Like this. Mm -hmm. Close polygon. So as you can see, the room of transformer, the second room of transformer here. Mm, okay. Get it here. Like this. And what if I did a mistake? Let's say I did like this. Okay. And I would like to get back to the last step. Simply click on Control and Z. Control Z or Control Z. Like this. So you return it to the previous point. So I can do like this. And right click. Close polygon. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Draw new room like this and this okay close mm -hmm. okay the room of uh, number nine okay let's uh, take this one here like this okay Take the upper part. Okay, there is a corner here. Okay. Um, okay, we can delete this. Okay. And do another one. Like this. Okay. Control Z back like here. Um, uh, close polygon. Let's see. Okay, now it's a lot better. Okay, we can move this one to the left like this. Okay, okay, great. Now we have this room too. Close polygon. Okay. We um, can move this a little bit uh, upward like this. Okay. If we would like to neglect this, this is a very small part. Instead of drawing like this, we can neglect this really small part. It is not really um, effective in drawing. Okay. So till now, we have drawn all of our rooms. So let's see as a 3D view like this. Okay. So as you can see. Here the rooms, all of our rooms, as you can see. And here you will have the entrance, the, um, here if we have an elevator, our stairs, and between them there is a corridor here, okay? So we need to define the corridor to add the lighting to it, okay? So let's get back to, to the plan view or the 2D view. Then we can do like this, draw a new room, consider the, uh, what we are talking about now is uh, the corridor, consider the corridor as one room, okay, like this, okay, like this, uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. Go up here and here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all of this one block. Okay, like this, and right click, close polygon. So, as you can see now, all of this is a corridor, one complete block. So, if we look at the 3D view, like this, you can see here room 12, which is a corridor. And this is the entrance and stairs. Okay, neglect them for now. So, as you can see, we have drawn all of our rooms and the uh, corridor, one block of corridor. Okay, now we have to identify something here. Let's say if we have, if we have, if we have, for example, a room here, okay, a room inside the corridor itself. How can I show to uh, the Dialex program that there is here a room in this location, okay, inside the corridor itself? There is a small room between them. This room, I cannot add a um, uh, lighting to it okay or it is uh, if it is not uh, it is a separate room then we have to show the uh, dialects program that there is a room here okay inside the corridor we can do this by doing something which is called the uh, contour or draw new outer uh, contour like this let's say a room here okay like this like this okay so you can see what will happen when i do this close polygon so the dialex program knows that there is a room here in this location okay now if we look at the 3d view you will see that here uh -huh. like this so we draw a room here so as you can see as you can see inside the 3d view you will see a block here as if we draw a building inside the corridor this one representing a separate room okay so we can do if we have a small room and we can do all of the lighting with one step or if it is if there are several rooms or several large rooms then we have to consider this as a separate building or a separate block okay so this block representing as an example a room then you can do this um, in Dialex program. Now let's say you ha you would like to uh, represent the room. This is a room, okay? So let's say we have the inner dimensions like this. This is the room itself. Close polygon. So the um, Dialex program understands that there is a, a room in the middle of the um, the corridor, okay? So if we look at the 3D view, you will see now it is there is a room here, okay? Now this will happen if we have a large corridor and inside this large corridor, there is a uh, block inside it, okay? Such as a room or something. Now, if I would like to delete this, select this and delete like this, select this and delete on the keyboard. So now 3D view, you will see now the corridor only okay so in this lesson we have learned how you can add rooms inside the dialects evo program okay